And look, for me, I've heard this word coaching for a very, very long time. And I guess a lot of people watching this and, and here tonight would, would say that they've heard that word coaching. But what's changed over the years? If we go back in the last you know, 40 years you know, to today, how has coaching been a bigger shift in the way that uh, organisations have shifted culture? Yeah, um, as I say, the, there was that view of a coach being external. And also, I can coach you a bit the way that the old football coaches used to, which means the, the more I coach, the louder I shout. Mm. Uh, whereas now, uh, coaches are, or leaders are realising that um, actually not speaking and opening up the conversation is where the power comes. So what we're seeing is the growth of reflective practice in leadership. And a lot of it is about you're getting these very, very uncertain, you know, in, you know, in all of society, in, in, in the environment, we're seeing patterns of, of activity and action that we haven't seen before. So organizations are getting surprises. Things that they relied on before are suddenly not, re not able to be relied upon. So what they're having to do is step back and try and get a sense of the, the landscape and a sense of the patterns that are going on so that they can influence the system to a, a more positive and more productive direction rather than trying to solve a problem through hard analysis. So coaching helps people to step back, reflect, and try and, s and be curious. Mm. I mean, that, the, the fundamental two coaching questions that I ask are what are you noticing? And then what are you curious about? And, and also what might that mean? You know, mm. what does it mean, but what might it mean? There's, I use the term tentative assertiveness or assertive tentativeness if you want to go mm, the other way mm. around. It's kind of a, you're very sure about the question, but you don't necessarily know what the answer is going to be. Mm. Uh, and there's this kind of probing that goes on in the process of coaching and also now in leadership. Mm. So, so it's, it's, it's giving, as leaders can't appear to not know what's going on, but they also have to be, uh, understand that they don't know what's going on. So it's that uh, tens tension between uh, knowing and not knowing. Let's <laughs> go.